Hey everybody, welcome back. I have here in front of me another one of the gems of my collection. Um, this is the Minneapolis Tribune Sunday Magazine from Minneapolis, Minnesota from February 18th, 1912. Now, I am assuming that this was an insert in the newspaper. And it is very old. It's 99 years old. And uh, this is actually uh, two months before the Titanic sank, to put that in historical context for you. Uh, this is just, uh, I'm really glad to own this. And uh, I'm going to give you a flip through. It shouldn't take very long because there's not very many pages in it. But uh, let's go ahead and see what was in this magazine 99 years ago. Mostly this is uh, stories, and here's a, a non-fiction part. When they were 21, the early beginnings of some of our best known men. Chancellor of the Exchequer by Minnie Barber Adams. Um. Look at the printing style. It's really interesting. Looks like some ink smudged here. Breaking into society, the new way American girls have of joining the exclusive foreign circles is much different from the old. For the first time he notices, the first thing he notices is your complexion. Enhance your natural attractiveness with Carmen complexion powder. Three in one oils, actually, uh, they still make that, I think. Nestle Foods. It's like baby food. Thermosis. That logo hasn't changed. Sterile bouillon cubes. Just pour boiling wa water on a sterile cube and a cup of rich delicious bouillon perfectly seasoned is ready to enjoy. Daggett and Ramsdale's perfect cold cream. Rheumatism must have been a real big deal back then. Coca-Cola. No matter what the weather, you're bound to want one way or another, relief from weariness or thirst, or all of them. Drink Coca-Cola, the delicious, vigorous, lively beverage. Delicious, refreshing, thirst quenching, five cents everywhere. Our new free book, Telling of Coca-Cola Vindication at Chattanooga for the Asking. Hmm, wonder what that's all about. 
Canthrox Shampoo. The philosophy of personal influence is free. This is a camera for free, but it's probably a cardboard box. Cameras were very simple back then. Here's an ad that says, Lady wanted to introduce dress goods, handkerchiefs, and petticoats. Make $10 to $30 weekly. Best line, lowest prices, sold through agents only. No money required. Send spring patterns. New spring patterns now ready. Samples and case free. Hmm. And the last page. It's like kid stuff. Well, that's what things looked like in 1912. And I really hope you enjoyed this little look back in the past. So. Until next time, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.